Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com is the website, Power 1089 in effect this morning. It's a little wet outside if you're in Atlanta, Georgia, or even if you're in Smyrna, College Park, Riverdale, McDonough, Stockbridge, all yeah. everybody got rain. I just don't want to say Atlanta because people oh, no. think it's just raining in Atlanta within 285, but that's not the case. Put it in your face. Everybody gets rain. Hey, got an awesome show for you today. Today is the 16th of May, 2018. And of course, today's show is being brought to you by our very own Mr. Brian Jobert, yeah. LME Tax Service CEO of uh, LME Tax Service. Brian Jobert. Go, he going to be in the building today? He will be in the building. What he won't be doing is playing tennis. <laughs> Wait, he heard something? No, he said this storm is made up by mine that I won't be playing tennis later. Oh, okay, cool. But they got indoor <laughs> tennis courts, though, right? Clearly, he's talking about outside. Oh. I guess. I ain't lost. Hey, we've got a fun show for you today. Got some super duper cool people to come hang out with us today. Uh, is it hairdressing season? I was going to say, I don't think that season ever ends. Okay, uh, hopefully. Um, uh, Akina Smalls is going to be hanging out with us today. We're going to talk to her about her new platform. What she got going on? Um, I was reading her bio yesterday. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was funny. Uh, also, Shant is it Shanti B? Yeah. I was gonna say Shanti B. I, uh, you said I was gonna say. You said that. There, I'm start. There's a, no, she will not make. Oh, she it got. Today. She not gonna make it today. Yes. And I wrote all of this stuff about her. Well, they really write it. I copied it. Copy, copy, race. And uh, Lashonda Martin, she's the yes. creator of Wags. The is that the Wags? The, the, the TV show? Wags? Wags? Yes. The TV show Wags? Oh, yes. that's nice. Yes. We'll get Wags. Oh, no, Wags redefined as a blogging site and media outlet created. Yep. Uh -huh. She's a retired wife of Sherrod Martin. Okay, we're just going to the NFL veteran. What up, Chip? Hey, Chip <laughs> hanging out with us today. Um, so yeah, once we figure out who the hell is coming on the show today, we will let you know. But we know who's here right now. The king of the small is in the middle. Gonna talk to her. Uh, we got your birthdays, the shout outs on this day, National Day. Um, Lil Eddie ain't here this morning. Somebody check on Lil Eddie because we're supposed to play uh, the game. Yeah, how time flies. We might have to play without him because people like play it. Without him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you wanted to play yesterday so bad. I was playing. Uh, not really. I mean. But the beautiful yeah. thing is I was playing, but yeah. if, if, I, if I lost, it was all good. You were playing with yourself. I was not. It's Michael and Joy in the morning. Power 1089. Michael and Joy, did I say all that? Let up. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I was saying numbers out loud. We can't get a connection. Oh, connect to spaces. Oh, this might, might be easier for you. Use the Wi-Fi here. Hey. Something about sisters. Hey, Angel. Good morning. Yo, this is Michael McFadden of uh, Michael and Joy in the morning. Don't forget hey, to Tasha. Hello, Hello, Tasha. What does that say? What's up? Uh, you. What? I'll just say it the way you said it. Listen. Check, check, check. Can they hear you on Facebook Live? I mean, on your. Uh, you can't go ask. Well, 
somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody, somebody else say something. Yes. What up, Elon B. King? Hey, Rhonda. Good morning. I can't hear you. Elon, go to YouTube and see if you can hear us. Please. You're the only one that I can listen to. Old At ask. That's more of a question. That's not like a. Let's try to clean that up now. <laughs> mm. Go over to YouTube. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com. Got some uh, super duper cool people coming by. Shanti B not coming though, right? She that will is not concerned. make it okay. this morning. Well, Akima Small is going to make it today, I'm sure. Yay. And Miss LaShonda Martin is going to make it for sure. And of course, our guy, Brian the Show Bear, since he ain't playing tennis today, I'm sure he's going to make it. Today. Yeah, exactly. So shout out to him. I will guarantee you. Is he watching? No. Um, I will yet. guarantee you he will have 90 things in his hand. Not just 90 things, but I guarantee you that he will have on a shirt that represents his, his and a jacket. Line. One of them jackets that make the, L the not the sound. The L B text that yeah. was jacket. What was that? Nylon, like a nylon joint? That's, yeah, he that's gonna have it on. Like a, a members only type of jacket. Without the without the, without the members. Without the symbol. Hey, we got a fun show today. Okay, oh, a lot to talk about today. Y'all know Toys R Us is about to call it quits. They selling off everything. Everything. Yeah, I'll tell you what. They selling off also. Oh, waterboarding. Remember we talked about waterboarding? Mm -hmm. Well, I got a cool waterboarding story. So when Eddie comes, he won't be uncomfortable with us waterboarding him. Because mm. we're going to show that, you know, it's okay. Like, you don't die. It's just torture. That's it. It ain't like we peeling off your fingernails or breaking your toes or something. It's waterboarding. I'm right? cutting the skin off. I was watching one, and it was good. It was like this little paper cutter. <laughs> And, oh. and it like cut a layer of your skin oh. off. And then you put some like salt in a on it. Like in a whole sheet. It looked just like this. <laughs> like some cheese? Yeah. Basically, like cheese? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we're going to talk about that <laughs> and find out uh, why Eddie is afraid to be waterboarded. Well, we, we didn't have, we're going to make sure that he's not afraid to be on waterboard. Sure. So yeah, um, yeah. hopefully I'm Akima doesn't. Um, Get a little oh, scared because we're talking about waterboarding. We won't waterboard you today. Um, who are we talking about today? So, oh, there was a co-worker. Since we're since we're in spaces, shout out to Power One Hundred Eight Point Nine in their new home spaces. Uh, it was a going away party for for this lady at work, right? Well, but up in Michigan, a, a lady ended up losing her job because of a going away party. Almost ended up going to jail. Now the unnamed forty-seven year old. Uh, who works at MMI Engineer Solutions, got a tip that Adrian intended to bring laxative lace brownies to her <laughs> departing colleague's cell. <laughs> the company seized the brownies before any were eaten, though, and they called the police. This happened, like, around May 3rd or something. Now, officers showed up and spoke to the woman who was denying that I did not put no laxatives in there. What is y'all talking about? Well, she changed her admission once the uh, they told the lady that we're gonna be sending these brownies to forensic experts. She was like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, I put something." My in daughter there. not been in there. <laughs> I had no clue. That's what you was that was to say. horrible. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, could you just not eat the brownies? Huh? Could you just not eat the brownies? But you wouldn't have known. You no, she know. was. She, she was a. Uh, she wanted. To, she was setting them up to eat I mean, the yeah, brownies. Clear, clearly, but you know, I'm not a brownie fan. Are you a brownie fan? I am. Oh, and she don't have a mic. I was going to say that. Which is why I was like, what's all the way over there? We can't even hear her. But just imagine, just, be, just like if oh, somebody no, that put, would be horrible. Say, say they put some lemon cake out there or chocolate cake out there or something. You'd be like, oh, oh that looks good. Like, like, it's only six stalls in there. <laughs> we used to do people like that. We used to, we used to, ours was a little bit more intense because we would take a Mr. Good bar. And melt the laxative in the mix, Mr. Good Bar, and then refreeze it. Oh, yeah, wow. y'all really thought about yeah, that. Yeah, we really thought about that. I was that gonna back say that was pretty. That that was pretty intense. I did see one uh, a show where the lady was um, serving cookies, but they um, they had the they were like edible cookies, but she had got them mixed up with a regular. Container now, aren't cookies. all cookies edible? I mean, you know, like edible, like oh. weed edible. I'm oh, sorry. the weed cookies. Oh, okay. You lost weed me edibles. You know, y'all millennials. I the mean, weed I edible cookies. But the bad thing was that it was all doctors. Okay. So they were like, uh, y'all can't go to work. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to tell you, those, those edible cookies that are laced with that butter is intense. So oh, so it's in the butter, it's not actually the, the cookie. In, yeah, it's in the actual butter that they use. Okay. 
to whip that thing up. Hey, well, ten. So I've heard. What? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, piss test time. <laughs> Power 108 9 piss test on Thursdays. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say. Shout out to Smoke of the Junk. You should be good by now. <laughs> hey, so what if those were uh, laxative? I mean, uh, the Epsom salt that she put in there. Mm, mm, that Epsom mm, salt, mm, boy. Mm, I'm scared mm, of that Epsom salt. I don't do that. No you don't do it anymore? No. Well, I guess you don't do your weigh ins anymore either, so I guess it's not that bad. Oh, was that a shot? No, I'm I just saying, wasn't that a weekly thing? No, uh uh-uh, That was just like a monthly clean. I was going to say, why are you always thinking somebody's shooting at you? Because, you know, I'm a little self conscious about my little belly. It came back. Well, well the only person that's well, paying attention is you. Well, <laughs> especially, you just, especially now that you rub it on it. <laughs> I got a far. Um, <laughs> but I was gonna say I noticed it the other day when we took that photo right, because of say. the because of the way that I was holding the camera and I was like I can't do my dog like that. I was like you look like you're about three but <laughs> He's gonna be able to start telling people he had his first trimester. <laughs> Joy, it's you, Michael and Joy. You're an asshole today. We'll be back. It's Michael and Joy. Ooh, you gonna get fired by the FCC? <laughs> Edible. That lady down there? Oh, uh, Jasmine. Yeah, my good people call me Akima. It's Akima. With an M, not an M. Yeah. Hey, Dre. It's okay. okay. I've been called worse. Ain't nobody listening. I've been called worse. Oh, oh God. It's with an M? Is it with an M? Yeah, it is. Why am I looking when I come I've back? Been Somebody down there? I was gonna say, yeah, Jasmine. Okay, I've been home. I never mm-hmm. see that either. But everybody do it. When I say everybody do it, I either get chemo or Kenya. So, but uh, would you rather people, because I know, I mean, obviously your Instagram is just Kena. Would you rather it be your whole name? A like rapper? Kena? No, I just didn't know if you guys wanted like my real full name, but I would rather it be Kena. Okay. Okay, now we got you. We got you, Kibas, when you're dealing with business. <laughs> Don't do it. I got you, Kibas. Don't do it. <laughs> laughing out loud at three months. Elon, he did look like you about three months. <laughs> if you saw this photo, talk about some, I got them cuts. <laughs> nah, not in that photo. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so we were right here, and it was coming up, and you could see like that. Oh, that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it didn't quite look like that yeah. line. You know what I'm saying? And it looked like that line. I was like, uh, that might not be what you want. No, no. So I was like, we'll just, we'll just do straight on. We'll just take the straight on photo. That that might be a whole lot better for him. Oh, yeah. So we're, um, I'll share the YouTube with mm-hmm. you guys. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Near, 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 no. So Elam, you with us Friday? Elon wrote a book called Understanding a Man, so he comes mm-hmm. on Fridays okay. and, and uh, rocks out with us. Oh, I love, love it. Yeah. Love and relationship. Take one. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> what up? Be <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> five dollars. <laughs> good morning, Brian. I'm Brian Kina. <laughs> right. How you doing? Hey. Did you get Jasmine? I gave her the key. Oh, okay. You know you don't need no joystick, man. Just put it right there. Oh. It's funny. I started to bring mine. Like, but I like this. Joystick. Very fine. Actually, this is joystick nation. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com is the website. Today's show is being brought to you by our very own the Brian the Show Bear LB Tax Service. We got some super duper cool people coming to hang out with us today. As a matter of fact, today is the 16th of May, 2018. And on this day, it is National Biographers Day. It commemorates the anniversary of the first meeting of Samuel Jackson and his biographer, James Boswell, in London, England, on May 16th, 1763, and honors all biographers. A biography is a written account of another person's life. I have a biography that I'm writing right now. Oh, are you really? No, not really. Oh, okay. It just sounded no, that'd be, cool. Yeah, that'd be super duper awesome yeah, to, because to have someone To have else. somebody write about you yeah. and just kind of give your perspective. Not like the House of Cards dude, because he was the one throwing under the bus. Hey, he, hey, <laughs> and speaking of House of Cards, you know they're coming back home one season. Yeah, I'm done. Still, I'm st- I still got to catch him on the last Oh, you haven't? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me tell you what happened. So, he was walking by the uh, corner, right? And You mean when he just 
just pushed a girl into the. Uh, Sounds like episode one, right? Spoiler alert. You <laughs> pushed a girl into all going traffic. Spoiler alert. The train station. Frank Underwood will not be back. Just FYI. If you're looking for Kevin Spacey, he Where won't he be back. Where'd he go? Ah, I was say, you want to see Kevin Spacey? You better watch you, little suspect. <laughs> it was like that dude on um, uh, Lethal Weapon, the, uh, the TV show with Damon Wayans. Yes. Uh, they just killed him last week, Friday. Because, you know, we did a story. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad. He won't be back either. Sorry. Say, yeah, well, they threw him off the top of the building. <laughs> so, shout out to all the biographers today. Yeah. Akina is here in the building today. Good morning, Akina. How you guys? Did I say it right that you time? said it right. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next time, I'm just going to call you Mrs. Smalls. That, that works. There you go. Works. Akina is hanging like, out with just us. Get it right Where are you right? from, Akina? Uh, originally, actually, New Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah. Jersey. All right. Yeah. How'd, you, how'd you get here to ATL? What brought you down Mr. here? Mr. Smalls. Oh, Mr. Smalls here. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't voluntarily. If you're in trouble, just blink your eyes real fast. Got it. You got good? It, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm good right, so far. Right. Sure. We're saving people around here. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, welcome to Atlanta. How long have you been in Atlanta? Ten years now. Ten years. Mm-hmm. How are you enjoying the city? I love it. I okay. love it, actually. Mm-hmm. I love being from where I'm from, but I... I enjoy all the opportunities of being here. That's an awesome. Well, welcome. And today you're going to be talking about your platform of beauty, industry, education, motivation, right. and finances, and tying all that stuff together, right? right. right. Yeah, we got Brian Jobert here, too. That's what he does. He, he's yeah. a finance money guy. So he we'll have a lot talking to talk about. Parents. Now, get a little personal. How long have you been married? I've been married July 25th. I make nine years. Nine years. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. You have little ones? Not together. No, okay, not but together. Y'all do. we have a very good blended family dynamic. Though. That's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. We always talk about on the show like the message that we put out to our kids now. Right. You know, growing mm-hmm. up in the growing up in the sixties um, <laughs> <laughs> and seventies and eighties, that there was always a generational of the way we taught our kids. And with your platform, obviously you preach financial education. Right. You do that with your kids? I do, I do, yeah. My our oldest, uh, she's twenty one. She's in her last year of college. She's very aware of credit and finances. She mm. just moved out on her own. Wow. And she's um she just she just recently moved out on her own and she's pretty much Tackling it pretty good though. There you yes. go. Now, so, she ain't had to ask for nothing. No, actually, not yet. I've been across. I know that. It's, it's only been about four months. So. Oh, yeah, it's coming. She's just going through that little savings right, right. now. Until <laughs> oh, that six months hit. Exactly. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Tell us about yourself. Who are you? Well, most of my um, colleagues and um, a lot of industry professionals know me as Kena360. Um, that's my Instagram name. It's, it's the name that's followed me actually from New Jersey. Uh, my one of my old assistants, she gave it to me. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people were coming to the salon and they would leave the salon. My clients and you know a lot of I worked in a unisex salon at that time and people would kind of turn around and say, "Was that the same person?" <laughs> like that, that was the same person. I'm like yeah, that was the same person. So they kind of came up with this thing that you know you get in the chair one way, you spin the chair three sixty, mm-hmm. and you're a whole another person. So it stuck with me. Um, I never let it go. Okay. And um, for 20 years, I've been a licensed professional doing my thing. I was just about to ask you that. 20 years you've been doing your thing. How, how did it start for you? Were you doing it in school? Were you just hooking up your friends? House. No, actually, my mom used to do my hair. Okay. And it just got to a point where she didn't want to do it no more. So I started doing it myself. She was like, well, all right. Right, right. And then I, a couple of friends in, in high school, they started being interested in me doing theirs. Uh-huh. And um, it just kind of led to cosmetology school after that. I, had, I didn't grow up being a little girl combing dolls here saying I wanted to be a hair stylist. I, I actually wanted to be a businesswoman. Okay. I didn't know what that meant, though. Got you. I didn't know what that meant. So once I got into the industry... I implemented those things that I was interested in, and I became and figured a business woman, right? Clearly. Now, back yeah. in 1999 or so, I acquired my real estate license, uh-huh. right? But after I was in the business for a couple of months or years, I really learned that the getting the license only taught me how to pass the test, and there really wasn't a lot of hands-on stuff right. about the profession. Is that same in cosmetology? Cos- <laughs> that word right there. When, when, yeah. when you when you go that through way. school, do you kind of just yeah. learn the business business after you graduate? Yeah, actually you do. I mean, school it teaches you the fundamentals. It teaches you basic roller placement, cutting techniques, things like that. But along the way, you do pick up on trends. Mm-hmm. You pick up on style inspirations. Okay. Um, 
um, just being innovative, kind of creating a look for a client that's always exciting. Gotcha. And you do pick it up along the way. Now, yes. as the ind industry has changed, and we've seen a lot of hair hair uh, wigs are popular. Mm -hmm. we, used to, we used to talk about our grandmama because our grandmama right. wore wigs. Now, uh, everybody yeah, wearing wigs. Yeah, I had one last week. Oh, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> How has that changed your approach as it pertains to cosmetology in 2018? Well, I mean, for me, it's it's about accessorizing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women these days, you know, we're, we're into a lot of fashion and trends and everything and we like to kind of wear our hair according to what the outfit speaks to us gotcha. um, sometimes we're not some women aren't as fortunate they may have you know some generational hair loss experiences so it feels good to be able to provide confidence and in a natural looking way to those women who can't you know grow it themselves but at the same time there's that other half of the world that we just love you know hey miss smalls that, is in the building miss smalls what's that instagram again whoop, whoop. shout it uh, that Instagram is at Kena360, and that's K-E-E-N-A-360. Hey, when we come back, we got your birthdays and shout-outs, and uh, what you call it? What's the name? Toys Tor R Us? They selling everything. I'm going to tell you what they got out for sale outside of the racks. You know you're going to Toys R Us. I know, I know. They sell racks and You want to get some good hangers. Right. Hit them oh. up. Hey, it's Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com. Wake up. Let go. You can get them hangers at the... Uh, when, it, when it's time, when people, what businesses be going out of this. I can stand and just get some videos sure? and pictures now. Okay. Hello, how you doing? Hi, Joy, nice meeting you. This is Akina. So we're going to talk about our seminar that you don't know about. I know, I know, but I don't know. I know, but I don't know. Well, that was what I should say. I think they're actually, they're, he's scheduled to come up there too. I <laughs> So about that. Anyway. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, Brian Jobert. Yes, sir. What's the word? Thunderbird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Combos with Keisha. Good morning. How are you? I don't know about that. Oh, it about is. That well, industry, the IRS, just before, go before crypto <laughs> currency, the IRS go was to uh, Facebook. <laughs> and you can check out the live interview as well. Uh, Jay Cole to bring us back in. Joy got scared. <laughs> I'm going to say, I am not playing with Mark and his crew over there at Facebook. Okay, I do Mark. not have any more last names to get kicked off and create a new page. Maybe you can go Mon Dot Pearson. Yeah, oh, that's how you are now. Maybe you can go Pearson well, Mon Dot. I, I was going to say, Dott. yeah, I'm not doing that. No, I was like, maybe I can get married. <laughs> Hello. Or maybe you can just add God to the end of your name. He saves us all. And then there's that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Brandon Jobert is in the building today. What up, Mr. Jobert? What up, what up, what up? What's the word, brother? Hey, man, just trying to get Hey, why do we not like carrying umbrellas? Like, I was really like, nah, I'm good. I'll walk. I was getting wet. I <laughs> love that, man. Now, you know, I, I'm, I'm in my, my other career, you know, uh -oh. I'm a a relationship strategist, you know, <laughs> and, and, I, I, and I tell women, you know, yeah, you <laughs> right. missed it, because, you know, that's usually when I had a one-on-one -on -one session, so I don't put it out there, because I don't want to be that everything to everybody, <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those situations where, I tell you, if, if you got a dude standing on the curb waiting to the rain slack up and all that, <laughs> you might want to check into that, and I'm like, that's not just man to me, like, run, go to the car, man, run, you know, like, run, like he's giving you the keys, you know, because he don't have an umbrella. That's not, you know, I, that's just the man in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, Joe Bear, we'll say Shout out to alpha males all over the world. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm like, sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. I was going to say, <laughs> slow down. You like brown sugar, if anything. I am not like sugar. I am brown skin. I'm paper sack brown. Ain't yeah, that I was right? Gonna say, but if you look at brown oh, sugar, you 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 don't, you don't oh, look no, like that. I'm just caramel. I don't know about you. Okay. <laughs> who the lightest? Who who's the lightest? I was just be say, honest. I don't care. Come on, you man. having an LB show moment Ms. or something? Yes, Miss <laughs> Smalls. Yes. <laughs> who is what the lighter of the two brothers? 
Who would be in who would be in the house, as they say? <laughs> with the lights on or with the lights off? No. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, 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 that was going somewhere. I just figured I confused it. Yeah, you really did confuse it. Perfect. What's the word, Mrs. Jobert? What you got going on, brother? What I don't have going on. Right. Brother. Hey, you know, I, I have so much stuff, man. But, you know, the thing is, she, uh, we were just talking about, Ms. Smalls was just talking about cosmetology industry. And it's funny because we have a seminar in the making that she don't even know about. <laughs> you know, because I was saying my, my next seminar, I was doing two seminars probably before my conference. And one of them was going to be to the cosmetology industry because they need a lot of education when it comes to taxes, business mm -hmm. structure, financing, funding, all of those things. Mm -hmm. And so when I was talking with Terrence, her husband, he was like, man, my wife would love to be a part of that. <laughs> you know, and so I said, uh, I said, well, just tell her you that, man. I said, let's make it happen, though. So you actually slated to do a seminar <laughs> that you don't even know about. Yeah. I like, I Shout like out that. to Terrence. Right. Put me on the schedule. Yeah, like but it. it's, it's, it's crazy because before, like I was saying, before cryptocurrency came on the scene, <laughs> that, that whole cosmetology industry, that's the IRS focus. Right, exactly. yeah, because they're saying the tax gap, they're losing so much money in that industry because so many people doing hair, getting cash, not reporting, you know, and so it, it's, a, it's a gift and a curse, too, because what I'm seeing as, as I'm dealing with more and more people in the industry, they're trying to do more and more things and grow their business, and because we have an entrepreneurial mindset, people are looking at doing their own businesses. But now you don't have nothing on paper, mm. you know, and that's the issue is that you're trying to grow your salon, you're trying to get two and three salons, but you have no tax returns, no financials. So now what I'm doing is educating and showing people how you can have financials without giving the government all your money. Because that hurts you in the long run, especially when it comes mm -hmm. to loans or to buy ownership, stuff like that, because mm -hmm. now all of a sudden you're telling... Basically, you ain't made no money in the right. You're trying to buy a right. two hundred thousand yeah. dollar house, and you didn't made ten thousand dollars for the past ten years. Right. <laughs> right. right. I don't know you, why y'all yeah. that be, right? And if you follow, if you follow me, you <laughs> always hear me say, happy, right? you know, the way you you build success and you build wealth is you play with other people's money. Yeah. 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 You know, the thing is that you're more aggressive in advertising, marketing, which can help your business grow when you're playing with somebody else's money. Right. You know, right. you know, and so that's the key is, is, is you know, you, you find the Magic Johnsons and everybody else talking about getting investments and getting loans. Mm. And they got half a billion dollars. Right. You know, and so Meanwhile. my thing is I don't play with other people's money. So that's why you can see me doing what I do, you know, because I'm risking their money. Right. You know, right. and, and, and they talk about, you know, Y'all president, but y'all president, he's an idiot, but he's not stupid. Right. And he understands how to play the whole bankruptcy game. So when he play with other people money and he lose out, you know, he, he played the, the, the game that they put into place, mm -hmm. you know, and he comes back again. And it's a game that we got to understand how to play, you know, to, to reach the same successes. Because Instead of making fun of them. Right. We were all taught when you grow up in, in, in your household, in your financial situation, bankruptcy is a bad thing. Oh, yeah. Don't ever file bankruptcy. They also say never... men crying is bad, too, but I didn't see you do it. <laughs> I'm just joking. That don't mean it's not bad. <laughs> it, is, it is not bad. And we'll not... say it is not bad. And we can get out. Our eyebrows threaded, not just arched, but just cleaned up, and we can get our toes. But you know, well, it's a lot of things that we were taught <laughs> <laughs> from back in the day that just uh, now, doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about that, and we and we talk about with, with, with you and your husband. Congratulations on the conference coming up, by yes, the way. Yeah, right, I'm right, sure right. you just got the news. I'm excited. That's your husband on that flyer. Oh, he's so handsome, too. Okay, okay, enough of that. We're talking about that. I'm about to say, well, yes, we'll see you June 30th. Right, might as well. But but check it out, though. We talk about the the information that you give your kids, and you talk about even and and becoming a business owner. You have to learn the business of what you do. Yeah. What were some of the important things that you learned along the way? Um, as I became a business owner, yes, ma'am. Um, I've learned um, as far as the paperwork side of it, like Brian said, you really have to have that stuff lined up. You know, I try to put everything in my business name so that I can create that portfolio, so that I can increase my um, my profit. I can increase my or or expand my business. Um, I own a small salon right now. Okay. But my goal one day is to have a much larger salon that I provide opportunities for other people. Right mm -hmm. now, it's just two in my salon now. Okay. Um, and that's just because I've been pretty much working on my personal career and branding that. 
But along the way, I know that you do need those things lined up. So I have learned that over over time. And uh, Brian is your bear LB tax service. My man, when you look at entrepreneurs jumping out and starting out small, it's okay because some people want to start off on the top floor and right. never get off the ground. Right. Well, and that and and that's the one thing now that I'm really starting to preach and even with the conference, one of the hashtags is small victories. Small you victories. Know, and if you, if you watched the video last night that we did, uh, using our joystick, you know. <laughs> but but we, we, it's all about small victories. And the thing is, everybody want to jump out and they want to be there. Right. And, and, and that's what I tell people. You and, and so part of the conference is really about that because people see my successes, but they think that it's just started, that I just woke up because you've seen me the last two, three years on social media. Mm -hmm. But I was grinding before social mm -hmm. media. And, and they don't see that aspect. So my thing is that you put little things into place and you build from there. And so the whole key is small victory to success in business. There you go. That's what I'm talking small about. Small steps. I just, I just uh, said that yesterday. There's so many people that, you know, just they start and then they, they quit. But if you just keep going, then there is no quit. A Dell computer and a, um, a cell phone. That's how this whole thing started for us. Mm -hmm. In the house on the that third floor. Like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean nine years ago? Yeah. It's like, I don't remember that. Tasha might remember No, you that. remember that because you used to come over to the crib when I was But that, that. wasn't nine years ago. Well, it was, I mean, it was still a long time. I mean, I appreciate what you're saying because, I mean, you know, you've been doing this for so long that, you know, the, the steps that even you took from Real Talk with Michael McFadden to, you know, where we are now and now we've got Power 108.9 and, you know. Oh, we had small victories. I was going to say small about. victories. Yeah. Hey, shout out to uh, all of the social media out there because now you got to watch out, big banks, because Silicon Valley is targeting finance as its mm -hmm. next industry yep. uh, right for destruction. Now, in the not-too-distant future, Amazon could let customers zap each other cash with Alexa and then deposit the money in an Amazon branded checking account. Now, Apple is also reportedly on the verge of launching a joint credit card with Goldman Sachs that will carry the Apple Pay brand as well. And then, of course, Facebook just formed a team to explore the power of blockchain that could include creating its own cryptocurrency mm -hmm. for payments. You knew yeah. it was coming? Yeah, but if, if, if like I said, if, if once again, if you follow me, you see that I talked about doing my own bank, mm. that I, I want to open my own bank. And that's the thing, is really just to create that opportunity for people that don't get the fair chances because that's the way everything is going now. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing it for, for a long time, but on a smaller scale as far as financing and funding people and funding businesses. Mm -hmm. But now I understand the whole economic, um, I guess the digital part of it now and, and getting money, trading money, and so it, it's going in that direction. If you're not in that space, it's going to be hard to accumulate wealth. And I'm talking about wealth, not just money. Rich Boy Investments LLC, the inaugural financial conference and award show what? is going down June 30th, 2018, starting at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're going to be there all day. Ain't we? That's a work day. It's a work day. It's a lunch man, in between. I'm feeding you, man. I'm feeding you. You black folks fake some chicken. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got chicken. your birthdays and shout outs. LaShonda Martin is in the building. Yeah. We're going to talk to Miss Martin. We're going to talk more. You know what? Eddie ain't here today, so are we going to play How Time Fly? We might as well. Why not? Get Eddie. He, he, oh, well, he's just he'll work. be playing from home. Yeah, he probably will. It's Mike so Joy in the morning. Sound, right? Sorry yeah. about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is. Mike Joy. That's how I wake up. La, la, la. <laughs> He'll be playing for all. Sorry, Eddie, my bad. I, I didn't mean to switch sure. out with him. I didn't mean to make it sound like that. You're coming back up. You're not, you're not going away. <laughs> hey, Coco. Just moving my stuff. Oh, you take the space. <laughs> and we do have a fifth. A fifth. Michael, come on, Miss Dixon. Yes, so this is. Um, Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, yeah, he yeah, does women yeah. too. You know, I uh, cut all my hair off last year, or he did it. Uh -huh. He cut it all for me, <laughs> um, just so I could get my curl pattern uh -huh. back right. But yeah, I you gotta it. cut the grow. They yeah. don't be knowing, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Girl, yeah, you gotta cut to grow. Yeah. What up, Jake? What up, Carter? Hey. What up, brother? Well, you Robert got it back. Your curls are popping. Yeah, it took about a year, but uh -huh. it looks yeah, good. Patience, man. It's a process. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Good morning from it's you, boy. Brian Jubilee, yeah. yeah. um, AKA Rich Boy, AKA 40 is. Million, it is. AKA First Bottle Out. We hours. had a couple of your girls come on. Karen and her sister came mm -hmm. on uh, mm -hmm. a couple months ago. That's awesome. Love them. Super sweet. Yeah, they are. They are pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And she's actually doing an event with um, one of our contributors, Elam. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He has a book called Understand the Man. Okay. So, mm -hmm. in a couple weeks. Tasha said she loves you, Brian. Uh oh, uh -oh. be careful. Be careful. Lights get in the house. She's good people. She's a good people of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to yeah. different conferences, man. Um, um, Jasmine, I sent you the email link to um, the YouTube. Right, right, right. Okay. Also, too. So just FYI. Okay. Thank you. So this is uh, the top camera is the YouTube camera. Okay. This one right here? Yeah. Well, the one with the red ring. And then oh, we're gotcha. on Facebook. Oh wow, her, her Facebook. Instagram, <laughs> and then his Facebook. And then my Instagram. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, hey. Everybody, good morning. These things are amazing. So here goes mine. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com is the website. Today's show is being brought to you yeah. by Rich Boy, aka LB Tax Service, Brian Jobert, yeah, LB yeah. Tax Service, LBTaxService.com. We're going to tell you how you get your tickets to the event. Also, Miss Smalls is still hanging out with us today. You'll get an opportunity to meet Miss LaShonda Martin, aka Waze. Martin. 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 I used to love yeah, when they do that. Do that. My age. Hey, if you celebrate a birthday today, happy birthday to you. That means that your birthday is on May 16th. <laughs> <laughs> happy fact. birthday. Uh, but here's some celebs that share that same day. Happy birthday to Megan Fox. Oh. She's 32 years old today. Also, Miss Jackson. Woo-hoo-hoo. Janet, if you're nasty. Oh, no, it's Miss Jackson. Jackson was waiting for it. I was like, I wonder which Jackson. Uh, Janet, so uh, she's 52 years old today. Happy she birthday to so Janet. Great. Also, Pierce Bronson is 65. Pierce Bronson was an underrated James Bond. I think he did a great, oh, a, a pretty good job. From but anyway, Panama. Yeah, he was a pretty good, but you, we all know Daniel Craig is the greatest James uh -huh. Bond of all time. Uh -huh. I'll trade him. That. Uh, oh, also, happy birthday to Ralph Trez, Vance. Ah. He's 50 today. The nifty wow. 50. That was, a, that was Can We Talk, right? Coming through. Ralph Trez, yeah. man, from New Edition. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. The yeah, other was, one. Well, I, I have not about Tammy Campbell? I got him confused. Okay. My bad. You act like you be getting all the girls, uh, like you don't mix them up. Like all the white girls look like you. <laughs> Megan Fox, Cindy Crawford. I was going to say, you said John the Collins. other Jessica, the, the <laughs> other Jessica Fox child White. girls. You don't even know their names. I know the toy. <laughs> I didn't know Megan Fox was white. I thought that was somebody else. Was the sister girl? Yeah. yeah. Caucasian sister girl. Also, Danny uh, nice Trejo is 74 years old today. Happy birthday to Tori Spelling. She turns oh. 45 years old today. Now, Tori Spelling has five dad, kids. But her dad, though, is the man, though. Yeah, yeah no, he's Mrs. the man. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Spelling. He's the one that did Dynasty Love Boat and Charlie's Angels. And wanted, the show she was on. Right. He wanted how he she was got like, into TV, Lord, right? I'm so tired of her. <laughs> Can we just make her a show? And also, uh, Lil Wee Man from Jackass, Lil Jason, which Wee Man, he's 45 years old. <laughs> what is that? So bad. Happy yeah. birthday to my homie who be cutting me up in the 757. Shout out to you, Steven. And also to Miss Alicia Reese. Remember, she came on, uh, she was the author with the, the book about the elephant. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Bite at a time. Yeah. So nice. happy birthday to you. If you're celebrating a birthday, happy birthday to you from us, Michael and Joy at Power 108.9. The Caucasian sister girl. She just got a good tan. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Michelle DeMar's in the building. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, everyone. What's happening? She said I got this girl pattern back. I know, right? She's rocking the girl. Girl's popping. Girl's popping this morning. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about yourself. 
Sure. Um, how would I describe myself? I am a woman of faith. I am a wife of three years next month. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Still newlyweds, I guess. Uh, <laughs> we have a son who is about to be two. Okay. Yay. And I am here because I am the founder of a digital media business called What I'm Sure You're Fine. Nice. A uh, former NCAA athlete. I hooped in college. Oh, okay. yeah. boy. Yeah. Where'd you play ball at? Uh, Mercer, and, Mercer, and okay. then I transferred to Emory because, you know, coaching changes, that happens a lot. So I finished yeah. up at Emory. Okay. Um, and then I'm a lover of all things fitness, uh, natural hair care, and travel. There you go. Oh, that's right. That's that's I was like, we're going to pack this up. we on the road, y'all. Now, now <laughs> Le LeBron James and his Cleveland Cavaliers are down two games to nothing to the mm. Boston Celtics. Now, they get a little rest. Now I have to play it until Saturday. Right. What do you think about King James in this battle that he has to endure? You know what? King James, he's a heck of a player. I'm a Kobe fan of my, myself. Oh, bam! Bam! Me. Bam. 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 <laughs> but, um, you know, I haven't been able to catch too much of the playoffs this year just because of business. My husband was watching the game last night. But um, he's a heck of a player. I know he's going to battle. I know he needs some help out there. But... The Celtics, they had a pretty convincing win last night. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> She's a pretty yeah. convincing. Yeah. And shout out to the kid. I always forget his name. I think it's Brown. Uh, the kid from Wheeler who played at Wheeler High. He played for the Boston Celtics. Kwame? No, 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 no. That was 40 years ago. <laughs> she you really tell she, your age. I said, I ain't been in there watching Brown. this season. I don't even know why you be at a stickler like right. that. You don't, don't know put me out like that. <laughs> like, y'all know. Right, exactly. But tell us about WAG. Tell us about that whole platform. Wag. Sure. So I started it a few years ago um, when I came into the lifestyle. My husband, he's retired now, but he played in the NFL. So when I became an NFL wife, I researched NFL wives to try to find a community co to connect to. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, most of the articles were on different <laughs> stereotypes the hottest the mm -hmm. sexiest uh, wives and girlfriends of football players <laughs> and I just had a problem with that so <laughs> I wanted to make a change and so I started a website um, giving a voice to wags and allowing them to share their stories and tell their true passions so that's kind of what it what it started out as okay. is addressing some of those negative stereotypes and misconceptions in the media and um, telling a more truthful narrative but then from that, it just became more of a community for the women. Yeah. So um, we are a voice and a community for WAGS, which if you are not familiar with the acronym, stands for the Wives and Girlfriends of Sports Stars, mm -hmm. mainly professional athletes. And um, so, yeah, we've kind of expanded from football to all sports. What was your perception about dating athletes? Because you, <laughs> you played in college, so I, I don't know, uh, what's the word, fraternization? Is that the word for <laughs> That's good, ah, that's good that's enough. Nice. Yeah, you can't that's fraternize enough. Enough. the yeah. players and stuff like that. I know we hear those rules, but mm -hmm. what was your perception about dating an athlete that you had prior to, you know, going off to college and, you know? That's an interesting question. <laughs> um, you know, I, I now see now that I'm married, the opposites attract in a lot of ways, but the similarities and just being an athlete, um, you know, I liked getting to know other athletes just because I, I related, but in terms of marrying one and serious relationships, um, that was a whole different story because, you know, there's negative stereotypes of athletes too, them being womanizers and being cheaters. So it's funny because I've interviewed over 70 WAGs and the majority of the the stories are that, um, you know, most people think, oh, you're a jersey chaser or the wife might have chased after the, the mm -hmm. guy, but it's actually the other way around. When you find out they're an athlete or a professional athlete, it's like, oh, no, moving on. Right. <laughs> so, and the athletes had to pursue mm -hmm. his future wife for a long time and actually convince her that he's not like the rest or he's yeah. different. Yeah. So. And that's yeah. very similar because Kira, when she came on, she said, you know, her being a cheerleader and her husband playing that she was like no thank mm -hmm. you but mm -hmm. it was the cousin that kept vying for <laughs> him like he really likes you like give somebody him a always chance. has to vouch like, yeah, yeah. Else, <laughs> that he like, likes no thank you i don't want no parts of it and obviously now they have a great marriage mm -hmm. and, a, and a beautiful daughter brian yeah. is a nice guy he really is he's a really nice guy nice mm -hmm. light skin bro well, <laughs> well, at least you know he, yeah. he gonna have you straight with his tough tack time right with tack time and he can play tennis too <laughs> yeah i'm asking about that <laughs> 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 <laughs
Send my game in. Well, you, you really have a play tennis. <laughs> you know, I get that tennis elbow or the wrist real quick. Yeah, but what's that for? I know. Yeah, that's a, that's a different <laughs> story. That's a different story. That's a non athletic sport. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we're going to talk more about WAGS, see what we got coming up. And we're going to play since uh, Eddie is not here today. We're going to get us a quick one in with uh, Man, How Time Flies. Yeah, that sounded about right. Yeah. <laughs> Your mama. It's Mike with Joy. Wait up. She's going to be here Saturday, so okay. talk, say it to her face. <laughs> say it to her face. Shout out to our new <laughs> Kilgore <laughs> Music Foundation. Oh, what is happening? Dartboard. That's why his, uh, he get, that's what, how he get tennis elbow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? Ryan, Ryan left that? No, nah, I actually bought it from, um. What's the name of that? What up, Ryan? Ikea. No, not Ikea. Oh, you know, Ikea would have been more complicated. Z Gallery. It was on sale. Oh, that's what was well, his name put up the other day. I was like, what is that? And then the website would be um, wagsredefined.com. And you've got, and your conference, you've got a conference coming up. Conference conference Smalls. Up? Yes, I do. It's July 20th and 21st. So it's the inaugural one as well. Nice. Yeah, it's the first one for WAGS, just bringing us all together. It's not. It's never been done before. So just bringing all the WAGS from all the sports into one room to network and everything. So oh, should dope. be pretty fun. Yeah. Will be pretty fun. Yeah, that's trying to see the end of the because it's, it's such a mm-hmm. dope yeah. brand. Yeah, mm-hmm. young lady sincerely bless sincerely. You said you said more. Do we know? Do we know her? Do I know her? Um, Well, it's not necessarily the show wags, and I should probably differentiate from the show wags. I know you know several of the ladies, and I've met several of the ladies from the show, but um, I have met her sincerely. Yes. So this is a conference in LA. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a conference in LA, but this year, um, mm-hmm. but we'll be moving to different cities, and of course, in terms of future events, the Super Bowl is here next year, so we'll definitely do something for the Super Bowl. Video. Mm-hmm. Like people was trying to get in there for the um, for Super Bowl mm-hmm. um, for the vendors. The mm-hmm. vendors list you had to get it um, sent in by the. I think it was about the 15th. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine. I've had, yeah, had some Super Bowl people reach out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Trust. What up, Ron? Uh, Everything going on on the 21st. <laughs> what else is going on on the 21st? I've, uh, I've heard of family what reunions. Up, <laughs> oh, my, uh, <laughs> That's when you're cruise. going to crew. You're yeah, taking my, up your uh, crew. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you hear our Dr. Key event is on the 21st. Oh, yes, with a um, village, village ATL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a village vendor's market, so. village market ATL. She uh, does an event at Georgia Freight Depot okay. with a bunch of natural, vi- with a bunch of vendors. Okay. And um, her yeah. event is on the 21st. It's actually huge. It's really, really big. Yeah. Village market ATL. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a really dope brand. Oh, are we playing a game? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, check y'all, check y'all up. Yeah, you, you look pretty competitive too. She was just like, dang it, I was just trying to come in here and be competitive. Yeah. I'm to see this other side of me. Yeah. My husband has yeah. yeah. more competitors than me. Huh? Oh, well, this ain't got nothing. This is, oh. this is about music. Oh, okay. I'm like, this is about music. It's totally different. Michael and Joy in the moon. Lost what happened, what, bruh? White people. I don't know no white people. <laughs> I'm about to say. Michael and Joy.com. Y'all can find out more about the Wags. 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 The company also announced some other things that were up for sale, such as URLs that they have purchased over the years to protect their brand, like uh, Sex Toys R Us, 
for us dot com is for sale if you want to purchase that. The adult oriented uh, domain name is one of thousands of websites address the uh, the bankruptcy that they had to file. They had to let them know everything that's up for sale. Um, also for sale, <laughs> I hate toys R Us dot com is up for sale. Uh, toys what is that? Toys R Us sucks dot com is for sale. Kinky Toys R Us dot com is for sale. Uh, you can also purchase Adult Toys R Us dot <laughs> com. They're putting that up for sale. Uh, the retail company is winding down uh, its business and shutting down 735 U.S. stores, according to uh, official court documents. You know, I went, I went in there the other day. Uh, maybe it's about two weeks ago. It was still closer to the beginning of it all. No, like for real, five percent, y'all. Like. <laughs> Come on. But you know, by the time it gets to when it's like all on sale, for real, for real, it's going to be It's going to be gone. Yeah, because we were up at the outlets at, at Woodstock. Uh, well, they're, they're called the outlets of Atlanta in Woodstock. In I Woodstock. don't understand. Right, in Woodstock. I don't understand it. How does that work? But we were walking by. I was like, you know what? This would be a great opportunity to go buy board games. <laughs> we did missed you, that. How, I just want to know, how excited did you get about that? Oh, board games for real. Like, I know, but you just got <laughs> You just got really, really. I thought I was gonna go and grab Monopoly. And I was gonna life. say. So, in other words, if anybody wants to get Michael a gift for Father's Day, he would like the Monopoly version with Mario characters. <laughs> there you go. That'll work. <laughs> they need a hood, uh, a hood <laughs> Monopoly. Oh, do Look, they, Monopoly? They, they got a, they got a version of it. <laughs> hey, I bought uh, all the wing spots. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the wing spots on the line. <laughs> no, I'm killing it. I'm getting the China cafeteria. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. It's all in three of them. <laughs> with that suicide, that. Hey, but they popular yeah, though. They yeah. that, with that suicide lemonade they be putting in there. Braised wings. Right. <laughs> Braised wings. So y'all are too fat. <laughs> <laughs> y'all hey, talking about all types of stuff. Hey, LaShawn Martin is hanging out <laughs> with us today. <laughs> WAG's Redefined Conference is going down July 21st. In Los Angeles, yes. California. Now, you yeah, did yeah. want to clarify something because mm -hmm. when you're in Atlanta, you hear WAGS, you think about the TV show. Mm -hmm. Correct. We think about the television show. Uh, but did you, are you the executive producer of the show? I am not the executive okay. producer of the show. It is a separate thing. What's funny about that is when I started the website and the whole mission, the show premiered two weeks after. I had no idea. Oh, wow. And oh. when I chose the name WAGS, you're defined that the show was coming out. Yeah. So, um, it, I mean, I think it's been good in helping people find the brand, mm -hmm. but I just want to make sure that there there is a distinction there. But we do have some of the ladies from the different mm -hmm. WAG shows okay. that are going to be on a panel at the conference. Part of one of our panels is the Real Behind Reality TV. Okay. So we're bringing some of the girls from WAG's Miami, WAG's Atlanta, and Hollywood football to okay. give their perspective. Say, yeah, I can definitely see mm -hmm. how you know writing. Like it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's helping both of your platforms and mm -hmm. their platform as well. Too. I was going to say, right. we need to call Attorney Griggs and get some stuff worked out. We can for you. <laughs> I was going to say, to. yeah, right. I can, can I say you, the I, was say, I can tell you a couple uh, people not to call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Hey, uh, so we got this game, guys. I handed you a LMB tax service pen as well as a LMB yeah, yeah. tax service piece of paper. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yes. You got your stuff over there? So this is a game that we created a couple of days ago and it's called man how time flies and the reason for the game i was riding in a car and i just noticed the date on a song that popped up and i was like man that song came out 36 years ago but it was still bumping like you could it was listen still to it today. bumping okay yeah. you know dc thing you know what i'm saying unlike uh yeah bumping so and so i just thought about it i said we just don't understand how time lapses and mm -hmm. we don't realize things so what we have there's a piece of paper, and I guess today we're going to, the ladies, it's going to be the ladies against Brian. Oh. Brian, you are on the clock, my brother. Say, I'm used to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a song, right? And we just we just need to know what year the song was released without going over the actual date. So whoever comes closest to that year will uh, win. We, we, we got something. Yeah, we, we got something. We, yeah. food or something. we got something. Oh, we, get, we got this half. There we go. Bottle. Half bottle of Ciroc. <laughs> is that vanilla? Man, huh? What, what yeah, it's that French vanilla, John. Put a little Coke Zero in that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
right. Man, there's a bottle that's like $50. Come yeah. on, Diddy. <laughs> I was going to say, the beautiful thing is Diddy has nothing to do with the price. I, I said, I said, hey, let me get that big bottle. He told me the price. I was like, nah, I'm going to that one. Right? <laughs> you know, the price went up with every child. Right, exactly. Oh, now, every guy discovered he had another key and the price went up. All right, so we're going to give you about 15, 20 seconds of the first record. And you just all you gotta do is just write down what year the record came out. We're gonna start off with the birthday girl. Uh oh, my bad. <laughs> We're good in production. <laughs> Nasty. Janet Jackson. Happy birthday, Janet. Write down the year that you think this record came out. Alright, you gotta stop me, Janet. Suck a bird. All right, Mr. Brian and Bear, we're going to start with you. What year did Nasty Janet Jackson come out? 96. 96. All right. Miss LaShonda, what year do you think Nasty came out? I said 1990. 1990. All right. Miss Smalls, Akina, to be more pacific, what year <laughs> do you think Janet Jackson's Nasty came out? I said 89. 89. Wow. Are you playing, Joy? I put 93. And Joy put 93. Man. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Oh, y'all wrong. This song came out in 1986. What? Yes. Wow. I was in Yes. That was my second guess. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to Janet Jackson. All right, let's go. Well, Here's I mean, I right. guess I wasn't listening to that. It's crazy. I had 80. <laughs> I had 80. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, here's the next record. As soon as we get through this commercial, sorry guys, nah, YouTube. Thirty sure. seconds. Thirty seconds. Y'all ready? What year did this record come out? Martin? That's what I wrote down, but can I change it to 16? You can change it to 16. Uh, Are you sure? 2016. Yeah. Miss Smalls, what do you think? I put 2015. 2015. Oh. And Joy A. Pearson. 2016. 2016. If you said 2000. 15? Oh, Bam, you are right. Oh, you are right, too. Right, right. All right, so it looks like we're tied right now. We got one more record. Brian, come on, come on record. Come on, finish. Represent. Come on, Let it be reasons. I know, I got it. Reasons. <laughs> I remember that from junior high school. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, so I slow drag for about nine minutes. <laughs> I slow drag about her. nine minutes. <laughs> they got switched up too by three times. You mean girls? You mean long songs? <laughs> yeah, you know them long. Back in the day, they had them long songs, man. You slow drag. You took a break, came back. <laughs> All, right. All right, here's the last one. Oh, what so year did years. this record come out? Oh. Miss Smalls, that's D'Angelo. I know. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> No, that was a skinny. That's a skinny one. That was that. That was that cut. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm about to take him off the screen right now. Thank you very much. D'Angelo, how does it feel? What year would you say that this record came out? And Brian Jobert, this is for the win, brother. What year you got? At least twenty years. Say ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. All right, Miss Lashonda. I said ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Yeah. All right, Miss Small. Ninety-seven. And Joy A. Pearson. I put 99, too. 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were anywhere close to 2000, that's what yeah. your song came out 18 years ago, 2000. So, according to statistics, it looks like the men win the day. Congratulations. Uh -huh. That's not a good day. It's not a bad day. It's not a good 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 day. Eighteen years ago. Let me know. What? 
What about it? Down low. It's down low. I'm sorry. Oh, it fell. Oh, they just wanted to look at Brian. That's why I wanted my own joys, so I could be spinning it, man. You wouldn't even let me get the guess. Is that, was that your flyer right there? Oh, no. How does it feel? Oh, that's yours. Okay. Tell me, let me know. All right. I know you wanted yours. Yeah, you spin it, man. That's really cool. Multiple devices. Yes, you want it. No, that's uh, Rob Wilson last night after we finished uh -huh. the video. Oh, with the gray suit on? He was like, man, he's like, you really need to market that. And, uh, I said, nah, I said, that's the whole purpose of, of, of doing this video. He's like, yeah, that really got to get, man. That's because we use three different phones. Everybody was Last amazed night. that we can put all that the you devices. were able to put them all up there. Yeah, and so everybody. Three phones, three platforms. Michael and Joy in the morning. MichaelandJoy.com is the website. Got an awesome show for you today. Today's show is being brought to you by our very own Rich Boy. What, AKA what? Brian and Joe Bear, LB Tax Service. We're gonna tell you how you can be a part of the conference, which is coming up June 30th, yeah. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can get registered where, Mr. Joe Bear? You can go to Rich Boys. That's Rich Boy with an I. R-I-C-H-B-O-I-S-R-T-B 2018.eventbrite.com. You know, so I'll be posting the flyer. Uh and really the RTB is for on uh, removing the blinders. Mm -hmm. Removing the blinders. That's what we talked about to today. Uh, I'll tell you about what's going on in North Korea and our, for, our president, 45. Also, waterboarding. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. Eddie will be in here live, so I hope you guys tune in tomorrow because after we do this story on waterboarding today, it should relieve a little of his scariness. Like, mm -hmm. you can't die from waterboarding. We ain't going to let you die. We're just going to torture you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you a story mm -hmm. on why it's, it'll be cool for him. And we just posted one of the most beautiful selfies ever on uh, Michael and Joy. There was a selfie. Uh, if you love dogs, if you're a dog lover, where the folks over at GoFetch, Dog Care, and Boarding love to show off their furry friends on social media. And recently, they snapped a picture when the dogs gathered for an impromptu gate visit as they were going out. Well, someone snapped a picture of the doggies. And if you go to MichaelAndJoy.com, you can see it's such a pretty little doggy picture. Mm, all right. Well, about that. And on this day in 1985, <laughs> Michael Jordan was named Rookie of the Year in the NBA. Shout out to Michael Jordan and shout out to, shout out to you. Best hey, player ever. You said yeah. best player ever? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was saying, come up. I wasn't saying, I was saying, come up. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but but you talking about Michael Jordan. I mean, uh, yes. Kobe Bryant. I'm a mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant fan okay. as well. And okay. what, high five. What, high five. <laughs> um, but what, what's crazy about it is everybody want to compare LeBron to Michael, mm -hmm. and I heard Allen Iverson say in the interview, like, they steady trying to compare LeBron to Mike. Uh, don't forget about Kobe being Bryant. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think he, in my opinion, he's the closest, just that killer that killer yeah. instinct. Yeah, so. there, there was a portion of the game last night where they mentioned when LeBron, they were down to like 15 or 20. He said, this is the point that Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant would take over a game. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. since we're talking about Michael Jordan, Facts. congratulations to him. Facts. Yeah. The conference that, that's coming up uh, out in L.A., who's, the, who's this conference for? Who would you like to see out there? So the conference, in, in terms of attendees, it is exclusively for the wives and girlfriends of professional athletes and coaches. It's the first ever. It is the inaugural one. So we definitely want all the WAGs to come out. But also, if you're a business owner and you want to market to this community, you have a product or service that you feel would be great in front of this demographic, please reach out. Info at wagsredefined.com. We'll get you a sponsorship deck. Or if you just have product that you want to put in the swag bags for the ladies, Info at wagsredefined.com um, for those partner opportunities. Something tells me that these free McDonald's coupons won't work in McDonald's. But you know what? Some of the wags, I'm sure they do that. I don't do it just because I do the whole vegan thing or I try to be healthy. So, yeah. Brian is a semi-vegan, so y'all can talk about <laughs> yeah, that a little bit later. In the dictionary. And we were la I was laughing at Gabrielle Union the other day. She she was in a uh, McDonald's commercial mm -hmm. quarter pounder. I was like, all right, Gabrielle, yeah, yeah. yeah. quarter pounder. No, and Tasha was like, afterwards, she like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tofu burger. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Brian is Joe Bear is hanging out so with us food. today, and we look at, uh, we're talking about conferences today. You have your conference coming up. It's yeah. also your inaugural conference as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but I want to speak on the WAGS conference, too, and I just need my WAGS 
to get the athletes to understand that they are a business. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we will have yeah. financial literacy yeah. and wealth management a workshop there. Okay, yeah, it is that's, something that's important. It and is I think that's the people that people miss that a lot. I deal with a lot of athletes and entertainers, mm -hmm. people in the industries, and they think, you know, I can say they think because they, they don't understand that it's more than just doing what I do. Mm -hmm. Because when I get paid for it, then that has to be allocated certain places. It has to be managed. It has to be those. And a lot of times they overlook that aspect of it. So I always say when you do conferences or seminars, make sure you have that component, you know, in there. So, you Amen. know, shout out to y'all for having that. Yeah. But that's what our seminar is going to be about, the Rich Boys inaugural uh, financial conference and award show. And we just, we're going to talk about how I built my success, you know, how I got in this industry, the tax industry for over 21 years successful, uh, how you can do it, just my journey, just starting your business and how to get it started, how to grow it, how to flourish it, how to prosper it. You know, we're going to talk about that, but we're going to have phenomenal speakers that are experts in things that I'm not ex ex uh, expert on as far as credit, budgeting, you know, how to get over the hump. And the probably the, the, the component that really brings me most joy is the award aspect of it. You know, we're gonna award people for doing great things in Atlanta because it's a lot of Facebook fluff out there. You know, the people out there following people that's making a lot of noise but really not saying nothing. And it's a lot of people out there doing phenomenal things that are not being rewarded. And, mm. and I just want to bring those people to light because that's the people we need to follow. So we're going to have Joy A. Pierce Yay! with the Joy Stick as the new Innovator Award because it's a phenomenal tool. And I don't know nobody that really invented nothing. So y'all need to support <laughs> people that, right. you know, y'all got somebody in y'all circle in your backyard that invented something, man. That got it from an idea to really a product. You know, a lot of us have ideas. And so you have somebody you can talk to to say, how can I get this out of my head? What's the mm -hmm. next step? And that's what we're missing because when we don't have the idea of what the step is, we take no step. Mm -hmm. you know, and then we're going to have the entertaining Mr. Michael McFadden yeah. as our host. You know, So y'all know y'all going to get some dry humor. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Mike might get it in though, man. So, you know, it's going to be a beautiful thing. You know, and it, it's, it's right now the early bird special is only ninety nine dollars, man. Come on, we gave y'all a million dollars information for ninety nine dollars. Hey, so, yeah, you that. had that laugh. That was a real big laugh over there. When like, you I, said that. I appreciate dry humor. I watch my fail. Me too. <laughs> I never saw it. Man. That's okay. That's say, okay. He can tell. But the uh, early bird registration, ninety nine bucks. Where are they gonna get registered? It's Rich Boys with an S. Rich Boys. <laughs> Rich Boys. RTB two thousand eighteen Hey, what's the big deal when it comes to uh, waterboarding, guys? Uh, because just recently, uh, the, there was one Texas man asked. Uh, after or undergoing the controversial torture technique, well, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, duh. Well, Tim Kennedy is his name. Well, let's just say this. Tim Kennedy is a UFC fighter, Green Beret, Army Ranger, sniper, Brazilian Jitsu black belt, and an unapologetically American. He decided to show his patriotism and support for CIA director nominee Miss Gina Haspel undergoing the torture method known as waterboarding. That's when they place a towel over your face and your nose and your mouth and they begin to pour water on your face to give the effect that you're drowning. Mm -hmm. Well, Haspel has been under scrutiny for her role in the post 9-11 enhancement interrogation of waterboarding inside of prisons. Kennedy later treated, do it in the basement with a little sheep with a crab of food and I'm still, it's just just still water in your face. That's all. So tomorrow, exclusively, has they signed off on that that, that yeah, waiver we yeah. gave them? Okay, uh, good. Yeah, about that. Okay, good. Well, we gotta let them sign it first, so we don't be liable. But <laughs> well, we have to call Griggs for real. So <laughs> maybe we will waterboard him, or maybe not. Hey, the website for your conference against this? Wags. That's W A G S. Redefine. Make sure you spell redefine correctly. <laughs> dot com backslash conference. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna wrap this thing up. We're gonna close it out on the big note because Brian Jobert got something to say. He said, D'Angelo, okay, I got something for him, huh? I'm just still hurt that she talking about us public school people.
I'm sure Michael right. enjoyed that topic. <laughs> and you can read about it. Check out all the links for all of the conferences. You spell that wrong. <laughs> we took a spell check. Right, I spell check. We spell check. Serious. Hi, Cortez. Hi, Denise. Good morning. Hey, Sharon. Spell check. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, that's my husband. Is that my husband? Sharon Martin? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hi, <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> what what up, what up? Hey, Denise. Hey, Darrell Hey, T.M. Prince. Hey, Lucretia. Thank you. Good morning. Bean is a goat part two. Ha. Hey, good if y'all haven't registered for the Lake All of the cruise, information for all of the conferences is on the we, uh, website. We or actually go close over that to out YouTube, soon. Michael and the trip Joy, to DR. And find all the information for all of the conferences. I don't even now. I think I'm good there, on the trip the subscribe for uh, subscribe DR. DR so sure. if you hadn't registered for DR already, you know, we're going to do Dominic. I don't care Dominic. because we got about 40 people already. I'm good with that number, so... We can focus on some other things. But September 20th through 24th, we're going to be doing DR again for the 18th annual LMP Twine and Staff Appreciation Trip. Come join us. Let's have some fun. Let's do some beaches. Let's get it in. Beaches. Michael and Joy in the morning. <laughs> Michael and Joy .com. Miss Akina Smalls is in the building. Uh, uh, Akina. Yes. What, what? Congratulations on the game. You guys pulled it out at the last minute. Right. Mm. About that. I'm joking about that. But we're talking about your class. <laughs> She's like, she's looking like such a hater. Just give it a Ciroc, man. That was, that was a filler. I was trying to turn it off. <laughs> right. But your platform in the beauty industry, and one thing that you talk about when we because we've been talking finances today. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to the LMB Tax Service. Um, but financial education and how it directly affects and impacts our success. You gotta know what that money is. I, I, I do a seminar, it's called Seven Secrets of the Super Rich, and the, the presentation says if you don't know where every, if you don't, if you can't account for every paper clip that you purchase and spend in your business, you're doing yourself a disservice. Right. Would you agree? Right, I definitely would agree. I definitely would agree. Um, thankfully, being married to my husband, he's what I call the credit king. There you go. Um, he's helped me a lot. Well, you, you know you're yeah, usually married to yeah. your husband. That's how that works. Right? Yeah, 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 you see that dry humor? You that's see that dry humor right there? Yeah. Yeah. He laughed, too. I felt yeah. it a little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh inside. <laughs> inside. 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 Inside his strength. No. So, yeah, and that's, a, that's the one thing about, I think, when, when we talk about finances and mm -hmm. marriages, my wife and I will be uh, 22 years uh, this November, and we what? know where we're strong. Know. Yeah, we know where we're strong at as it pertains to finances. Like, if, if I leave here today and go buy a $4 Subway sandwich, I'm going to get a text. And like, uh, you could have made your sandwich before you went over there. You know what I'm saying? Before you left she, the house? She's, she's that type of person mm -hmm. because in our life, we had, you know, we've had up and down financial, right. you know, woes mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. And when you lose a lot of money, mm -hmm. you understand how to control it that second time around. You don't yeah. want to put yourself yeah. in that situation. So definitely. you got to know what your strengths are. Definitely, definitely. He holds me down with that financial aspect. I'm, I'm more of a creative person. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I mean, look, I can't just make more I, money. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's where I am. You right. know, I just bring <laughs> ideas in the house. Yeah. And he, help, he helps me put it on paper. There you go. What's that don't always work? Um, well, I don't have, usually I, I have a class or two coming up. Um, I don't have any education classes coming up right now. Yes, you I do. do. Yeah. She ain't got a date yet. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got to figure that part out. But um, I just recently created my one on one platform um, okay. where I have people come into my salon and we learn, they learn some hands on technique. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I call my 30 minute business law of attraction. Just okay. trying to teach people how to have great client retention, customer service, salon etiquette, professionalism. Mm. All that stuff is really why people come to you anyway in the salon. Right. They come to you, they, they fall in love with you. Okay. You, know, you get you pass a million salons to get to my house. Right. I have people travel from Loganville. That's awesome. Um, yeah, places I've never heard of. I only hear when when they talk about the weather. Right. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, I I really understand the power of 
really creating good customer service skills. And then the power of network, which is mm -hmm. how I met you guys. Exactly. Whoop, whoop. Exactly. Shout out to Nehemiah. Well, right. Yeah, uh -huh. shout out to you. Uh, tell us about the salon, where, where we can... Well, I'm, I'm located in Fayetteville, um, Georgia. Um, actually, my daughter and I are business partners. We have, we opened a salon together called the Sassy Factory Salon. She's 21. Oh, okay. She's a, um, a certified um, <laughs> mink lash technician, and she teaches from state to state as well. We just came back from Baton Rouge with her okay. last weekend. Yeah, um, to, um, <laughs> for her to teach a couple of um, students to educate a couple of students so that that's really good that's awesome but um yeah i'm out there in Fayetteville. i'm just right. you know you can make an yeah, appointment come, on cool. come take a class um come and purchase my master's apparel i created that for the industry okay so that's been a nice little um addition to okay. my brand i've been excited about bringing professionalism back with the well that's what i'm talking about if i got an appointment at three o'clock i would like to be right. in the chair at three right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i agree i agree yeah. I but agree. that's that's the like change mm -hmm. you know what i'm yeah. saying that's the yeah. change from going back in a barbershop back in the day and you mm -hmm. ask your barber hey how many you got oh i got seven i right. who, who the seven one all right i'm about to have you pop <laughs> you remember them that well, yeah uh-huh uh-huh i'm gonna hear it one time oh okay <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations to you what's thank your you. social media thank you my um Instagram is at Kena360. That's K-E-E-N-A 360. Facebook is Akina Smalls. Okay. And um you can also check out my Masters Apparel on my website and it's www.mastersbrand.com. Okay. You can purchase some professional attire and learn more about my classes. Toys R Us got some URLs up for sale. I heard. I heard. I think I like the last one. Brian is Joe Bear. Before we get out of here today, man, we 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 talking about we always talk about finances and everything we do, man. Some of the best advice that you can give entrepreneurs out there. And, and I just want to touch on since we had mentioned, you know, husband and wives and relationships. And well, shout out to Baton Rouge, Southern <laughs> University. <laughs> you know, well, we killed it. Uh, but um, that husband and wife thing, I hear women all the time say, if I just had a husband, if I just had a partner, and, and this is one of my seminars as well, I tell people, if you got two people that can't manage money, you got double the problems. Mm. You know, and so it's so important that you do know your strengths and weaknesses as husband and wife, because a lot of times, if both of y'all are spenders, you don't have an issue. Mm -hmm. And so you have to find somebody that compliments you financially. Mm. And if you don't, because I see it every day, I sit down, you know, I've been out for over 30 years, so I've sat down with thousands and thousands of people. And I've seen my married couples probably have worse problems than anybody, even they, because they have two incomes. Mm. Because we don't allocate for if, when, <laughs> stuff happens. So what happens is if we plan everything based on both of those incomes, and somebody short hours or lose a job or whatever, we're in trouble. We don't know how to rebound from that. So you got to start managing your money in a different way when you have a couple. And then you got to pick the right person because if I'm not disciplined, you're not disciplined, and you can't tell me to do better, then we, we in, we're in bad shape. So you got to have those discussions. LBTaxService.com is the website. Brian Jobert yeah, is yeah. in the building. Thank you, as always, for Wednesday, my man. Today's yeah. show is being brought to you by Brian Jobert. Rich Boy Investments, LLC, inaugural yeah. financial conference and yeah. award show is going down June 30th. Early bird registration is going on right now. Only 99 bucks to get registered and he's feeding us semi-vegan chicken and ribs. We appreciate that, partner. Some of the people on the panel that are going to be talking, discussing, who you got? We got Mr. Renault Ross, man. If you, I, I get, Renault blow me away every time I hear him talk, though. And, and it's crazy because you never get to a point where you're too successful to have a mentor. And, and I look at him now as a mentor because he's... His delivery is so excellent. Mr. Rob Wilson, if y'all know Rob from back in the day, Rob gets it in on budgeting. Rhonda Jones is my financial advisor. We got Mr. Terrence Hutchison, the fi uh, fitness guru. Fitness guru? Your, yeah. health, your, your health is your wealth, man. You, you got to stay healthy. And then we have Mr. Terrence Small talking about credit. If you understand that credit game, you're going to kill it. Yeah, yeah. Play with other people money. Brian is your bed. Oh, LB Tax so Service. Awesome. If you missed any of today's show, all you got to do is go to MikeOnTheJoy.com. I got to say thank you to Miss Smalls what? for hanging out with us today. Miss LaShonda Martin back there chilling. Check out her website, WebsRedefined.com. Her com I'm sorry, what did I say? Webs. Wags. 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 WagsRedefined.com. Um, her conference is going down in LA uh, on the 21st of July. Yes. But you can visit the website WagsRedefined.com. Hey, Miss Smalls says she wanted that uh, URL. That last one we mentioned, <laughs> Mr. Smalls. As a matter of fact, yes, the last one I mentioned was. Uh, 
Kinky Toys R Us that time. Spike the joy. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> you spell me, you crying right. <laughs> I didn't remember what the last one was. I was about to say, you must have been focusing. If you remember what the last one I was thinking, I was like, if she remember what the last one was focusing on that one, like, I gotta get that one locked like down. That. I gotta get that locked down. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh, hold up. Let me get off these social medias before you over here playing this right. music. Right. Here, I'm gonna shut down. Here. Instagram has Instagram. What's up, Brother Troy? <laughs> Good morning, brother. I appreciate the I love, think, man. I think you should duck. Yeah. I think you should take you out. Hey, 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 Bye, Dominican, Ricardo, Dam, Dam, and Twin. All right, so I'll see y'all in tomorrow's uh, event tonight, uh, Corey, somebody's event. Y'all know I'll be networking somewhere, but that was let's get it umbrella, in. So let's connect. <laughs> let's to collaborate. Yeah, let's conquer, so y'all, because if we do all those things, we can't lose, man. I felt like I was driving to the it's perfect like storm this morning, girl. It's so dark and dark and dark. Hey, Ms. McDonald, Jazz Clark representing. Hey, Miss Kim, I know you're on TV on the news somewhere. Hey, hey Cody, this is I'm coming to get the, the vegan. Uh, and Joy I'm coming to get the vegan uh, brown stew that shrimp. Was right? That was great. <laughs> that was, yeah. I'm like, I didn't see it, but I heard yeah. it. Sound pretty, sound pretty good to me. Greg, get a feed. Let's wrap. I'm going to be next. All right, yeah.